Well, a fine good morning to everyone. I hope everybody is doing well this fine weekend. Yeah, boy, I'll tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm just cranking out some videos here, huh? Uh, especially different type of stuff. Now, I'm going to give you a little history behind this, and then we're going to talk about this, and then we're going to play the first scenario out of this, or episode, as they call it. And I'm going to explain a little bit more to this than you want to. First of all, all the people that normally watch uh, Sabutio um, on Sunday mornings, we will be back in April after I get my checkup. Um, uh, Sabutio will be back. We will continue to leak where it starts, and we will go all the way into the Euros, uh, and then we should be finished with the season. Then we'll be back in September again to start up the league again all the way through. Uh, the arm has been a problem, and we're, we're getting there a little at a time. Yeah, I, I want to finish this season strong because there are so many games. Uh, I found myself in a lot of that, having a lot of problems, especially if you notice I haven't painted a lot. Um, the grip is just not there yet. Um, but we are at the gym every day, and we're getting stronger and better. Okay. Today, we are going to be taking a look at a game. Now, I did an interview with Worthington Publishing oh, early last year. And uh, come to find out, Grant is a huge Western fan. John Wayne, Alan Ladd, you know, all, all the who shot Liberty Vance. And he, he made the game Cowboys Away of the Gun, which was the original one. Now, it was a passion project of his. Well... He went out and, and did another one. Um, he put it up on Kickstarter. I'm not sure what happened with it. I, I, I wish I was part of it because I would have promoted the heck out of it. Um, but Cowboys 2 um, did get published. It's Cowboys and Indians edition. Okay. Now, listen. This is something that you guys are really, really going to uh, like. First of all, let me say hi to Steph, Yogi Bear, Iron Hand, 1970. Good to see you again, my good friend. I think you're really going to enjoy this. Now, the scenario I'm going to do is a solo scenario, but I want to explain things after. So stick around after the scenario. It's not going to take very long. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to get run over pretty quick. There are some optional rules that you can put into this and really make this interesting. And there's just so much to this than what you're going to see right now. So if you stay at the end, I want to show you everything. And I want to show you some of the things that when I play tested it yesterday, what I wanted to do and some of the things I have in my head. So um, first of all, it's absolutely, I mean, the art, the quality of this one is so much better than, than the original Cowboys. It is ridiculous. So why don't we go down to the table and we'll take a look and I'll read you exactly what's going to happen. And we'll talk about that. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about the rules and everything as we go along. And believe me, I got you. This is going to be quick. It's going to be fun. You're going to see what I'm talking about. Okay. Take care of yourself first, Rob. That's the most important. Well, thank you, my friend. I will do that. And I promise you, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. All right. So... Let's take our camera up top. Okay. Now, there are just so many tiles that come with this thing. Okay. I mean, you get all, you get, um, you, you can set up a whole town. Okay. And then you flip them over. Then you're out in the prairie, gunfight, you know, all kinds of stuff. You've got tons and tons of, of counters and stuff like that. I've been playing with the, the same couple. Of, you have horses. You, I mean, there's just so much you can do. And then a whole cast of characters. Okay. You've got, you can be a ton of different characters and it's all good quality, high quality stuff. Now there's some cards that are going to be involved in the game. Um, if you're playing two player, but in the solo version, you don't need them. Okay. Now being the type of guy that I am, Okay. What I would do is I would deal out the cards and for our hero, the guy that we're going to be playing on turns one, three, five, and seven, we would turn over the card, turn over one card, not look at them, just turn over one card. And then on the other ones, have them get the advantage with a card. That's the way I would do it. 
uh, solo. I may try that, but I'm not going to break the rules here today. So I'll show you some of the cards later on, but I just want you to know there is a depth here that, that, that does not show what they want you to do in this first thing here is really get a feel for the mechanics. Okay. So I'm going to push that aside there. Uh, He's going to start with four. He's got four health. Yeah, you could tell I was playing around with this yesterday, right? Um, comes with a, a really, there's there's nothing, it's nothing too hard here, okay? You've got 15 pages, okay? I, I, I read through this. They have some advanced rules. The nice thing about it, and they talk about the solo rules, how, how that all works, okay? So, you know. Actually, there are only 12 page of rules, okay? And just really, really simple, easy examples on how things work and game on, right? Okay, no problem. I, I'll put this over here in case I need it, but I don't think so. Our, our scenario book is here and it comes with, well, Dunk, what's up? Uh, 22 episodes. Now you could create your own stuff. And as you can see up top, there's going to be all kinds of different rules, and they'll have solitaire rules in here, okay? All right. And you can set up, you can make it as big as you want, as small as you want. You can go buy all these episodes and do a campaign, which is really neat that they have an idea for. I really, I really like that. The other thing here is, okay, as you can see, this is going to be your turn, your turns. And it gives you a, a brief overview of everything that we need to know. Um, right here okay the shot chart um, depending on what you're going to use is going to determine everything how it goes your health determines your actions okay so as you can see right now i'm at four health so i'm going to get four actions okay every time i move that's going to be one action if i go to shoot it's going to cost two actions okay and then you can fire Okay, you're going to take the chart, you're going to roll two-sided die, I'll show you how this all works. And I'll show you some of the variants that go into this, because uh, the nice thing about it is they give you two charts here. Um, as you can see, that's a duplicate there, but on the other side, we have the solo chart. And this is how our enemies are going to uh, work. Now, we're actually fighting two different cowboys. Normally, if we're fighting like town folks or things like that, we are going to, they're just going to have a set number of movement and they're not going to have charts like this. Okay. Now I'll, I'll read you what the scenario is. I, I just want to explain things a little bit here. Um, over here, if you, he has two pistols. Okay. And what's going to happen is every time we fire, we are going to use one bullet. If ever we use up all our bullets, we have to take and reload and that's going to take us a couple of actions okay so uh, you're gonna to wanna to really be strategic in what you do here okay now this first scenario I'm gonna put that up there this is Johnny Ringo that's who we are we are Johnny Ringo we're in the saloon and then we got these two punks that are gonna start with us so we're, we're, we're gonna go right to the first one here, and I'm going to read it to you because uh, there is no change in sequence of play. Okay, all right. So I'll explain uh, a little bit further. Okay, it's always tough being the best at something, especially the fastest gun in the West. Some punk kid is always looking to show you up. Better fast than dead. Typical Western stuff. We love it. All right, um, uh, set up first uh six cards one cowboy starts anywhere in the saloon all right that's going to be our guy johnny ringo now on his rolls he gets a plus two okay and i'll explain what that does uh as soon as we can he has two holster pistols okay which is all fine and dandy and then on side two which would get three cards now we would get we would give these cards out okay if we were playing a two-player thing. But here it says AI opponent is side two with weapons drawn. No cards for either side. So we're not going to use the cards. But I will explain this later on. Okay. 
Uh, exchange any town folk cards. Okay, that's if we drew the cards. I already did all this stuff. We're going to be using board K. Uh, I start in the saloon. They start anywhere on row two. So the rows are numbered alphabetically this way and numbered that way because they're during these scenarios there's you've got all kinds of things you've got like fences you've got barrels there's all kinds of things that you're going to run into okay so how how to win side one wins by eliminating eliminating newly and duty duly by the end of turn 12 or not being eliminated which is hard side two wins by eliminating Johnny Rango in 12 turns. Oh, come on, Johnny. You got to survive this. So far, I haven't been able to get Johnny to survive anything. All right. So we're going to be playing this solo, so there's no cards. But I'm telling you, the cards add a lot of flavor to this, which is ridiculous. All right. And I'll, I'll show you some of the cards as we go and how I would, would do things. Okay. Now, there's some... There's some things that you can do there's all alternate variable da damage i kind of like this because normally you would shoot and if you hit somebody you get one hit okay so the solo chart is going to determine on how many squares they are away from me and and depending on what they use all right what type of weapon that they use they're both using one pistol and it's drawn and they're going to do things according to their distance Okay, I think we're going to use a simple variable damage. Any shot hit for each scored uh, hit scored on a target, the shoot the shooting player rolls two dice and adds only his shot rating and applies the results in the following way. Man, I, I can get killed real easy, but I kind of like that. I kind of like it. Follow all rules. Uh, when hit, you can do this, which is kind of, kind of weird. Uh, not weird, but cool. When using alternate variable damage chart with a role playing rules, only carry over wounds to the hands. So you can get hit in the hands, the foot, and stuff like that. It can, it can take away from your. There's a role playing aspect to this that that you don't even realize how cool it is. So we're gonna go the way we determine how everybody goes there is a chit value okay there are three chits in here okay i'm going to pull out a chit and then that particular people are going to go so let's pull out our chit okay i'm not even i'm not looking i'm not looking and oh all right so my man here is going to go all right so we're going to put that down and it's active that means he's ready to go so we're going to look at our chart here, and I'm going to show you that he is at least one, two, three, four, well, one, two, three, four, five, five spaces away from us. Now, you can't go through walls and stuff like that, but we count the shortest distance to the person, okay, to where he is. So... He's got a pistol. He's five squares away. He's going to move two, and he's going to try to shoot. All right. I understand that. Um, now, you cannot move diagonally. So he's going to move one and then two. Okay. And he's going to try to shoot. Well, there's a wall here. that I'm nowhere in sight, so he cannot shoot. So that is his turn. Okay. That works for me. All right, now we're going to draw another chip. And this is turn one, by the way. Uh, oh, the other dude's going to go. That's kind of good for us in a way. Uh, he is one, two, three, four, uh, five, six away. Okay, so again, he's going to move two and he's going to try to shoot. So he's going to move one, two. All right. And he can't shoot. So what does that leave? Well, that leaves Johnny. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on here. Let me, uh, let me put these here so you guys can see. There we go. All right. Now, there's actions that you can do, and I'll, I'll explain all these things. This tells you the point cost for everything going on here. 
So I'm going to put Johnny here. And let's just go through this real quick, just so you guys have an understanding of how awesome this is. Monkey Raff, what's up? Hi, is this an old game? No. You can get this at Miniature Market right now. They have about 20 left. But after that, you can forget about it. All right? You're really going to like this, I'm telling you, if you're an old West guy. You have move action. You move square. It's going to cost you a point, okay? Move across a red line. It's going to cost you two points. To mount or dismount a horse, well, that's going to cost you two. Now, when you're on a horse, when you move one action point, you're going to move two squares. Okay, so that's where the horse goes. Entering a creek. There, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff that goes on here. Picking up, drawing, or changing weapon. There you go. Shooting. That's how that's going to go. And there we go. Now, it's my turn, so here's what I'm going to do. I am going to unholster my weapons, because my weapons were holstered. Theirs were not. So that's one. I mean, that's two points, okay? Remember, I have four actions because I have four health. Then I'm going to move one here. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. I'm going to move one there. And then... Yeah, that seems about right. If I move one there, I'm in the doorway. And I could be ready for this for this gringo when he comes out. All right, there we go. All right, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to stay right there. We're going to move the turn two. All right. Question is, can I survive this? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go up top. Let's go up top. Boom. Okay, there we go. All right. So now... Here we go. Hmm. So let's see. See, I wonder if I should have moved that additional space. I don't know. I got to hope my chit doesn't get pulled first. Okay. I got to hope my chit doesn't get pulled first. Hold on. I'm going to do it in front of you guys. So you, and I can't see this. All right. So uh, let's pull. No bad luck. No bad luck. Ah, nice. This is what I wanted. I wanted him to come out. All right. All right, so now he is one, two, three, four, five spaces away from me. Remember what we said on, 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 the, on the thing here. Okay, I'm going to pull it up over here. Five spaces. He's going to move two, and he's going to shoot. He's going to go one, two. Now, he could see me in the doorway, but there's going to be a minus one modifier. Okay, because he's shooting into the doorway. So on the roll so he's one two three four five spaces away from me okay you count diagonals but you can't move diagonally five spaces away so we come over here and I'm, well let me turn this over and i'll bring it up to you guys right so you guys can see he has a pistol he's five spaces away he needs a 10 11 or 12 minus one so he needs 11 or 12 on two dice to hit me all right, bro. Now you're going to die. Now you're going to die. Oh, no! 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 All right. Whenever you hit, whenever you roll box cards, is it naturally two hits? So we're going to roll two hits on the chart. Oh. And we're going to use our veritable chart here. Now, normally, that would just be two hits. I would be down to two. But there's a chance I might be assassinated. Oh, this game is great. It's hard, but great. All right. We're going to roll here. Let's see what, what we roll here. Uh, eight. Eight is going to be one hit. All right. And then we roll again. Come on. Two or four. Six. That's two hits. So now I'm down to two actions. Oh, oh, that's brutal. Looks like we're in trouble here. Looks like we're in trouble here. Wow, that is just bad luck. Uh, it's going to be us. We can survive this. All right, one, two, three, four, five. We have two pistols drawn. Okay, they only have one. We're going to roll twice. All right, so... Four, five, okay, on my pistol chart, okay, 
Again, that's a 10 or 11. I mean, 10 to 12. But I have a plus two modifier, which brings it eight to 12. So now I need it. I need at least one eight. Come on, come on. Uh, seven. That's not going to do it. So I miss with the first shot. I hit with the second shot. All right. Here we go. Life in the old west is hard. Oh man, we may not. We we may not survive this. All right. So I need. I need a big hit here. I need something. I need something devastating to get rid of this guy. Uh, nine. Oh, that's one hit. So my man here takes one hit. All right. So that means he's left. He's one, two, three, four, five spaces away. So he falls into the move two. And he's going to shoot, but he can't shoot because I'm inside the building. Oh, boy. Business about to pick up, folks. Business about now. I need my. Ch I need to. I need to. I definitely need to get and hit him first. Now I think the way the AI would have worked. No, they they go by their cowboy thing. All right, here we go. Wow, that was just some bad luck for Johnny Rango. Uh, no, this guy gets to go. So we're within five. So five, it's going to be move two, one, two, and he is going to shoot. All right, so he's within three, uh, one, two, three to me, minus one because I'm in the doorway. Uh, he's going to take two shots at me. Uh, and the range there, I could end up very well being dead. Uh, three, he needs an eight to 12, so he needs a nine to 12. First shot, misses. Second shot, he misses. <laughs> Thank goodness. All right, so now it doesn't matter who goes. Um, jeez, I'm gonna pull out. The other guy gets to go. All right, uh, he is one, two, three, four, five. So again, it's one, two, in the doorway, shooting in here. He can see me. It's gonna be minus one. He's one, two, three, four, five away. Uh, but that doesn't mean anything because five, that means he needs a 10 to 12 minus one, 11 or 12 to hit me. Uh, he's going to get one shot here. Uh, no, he misses, which means I am the last to go. So now I've got to hit this guy. I got to pepper this guy like there's no tomorrow. Oh boy, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough if I can survive this. So, all, listen, I've got two actions. I'm going to use my, my double gun here. Let's see what happens. Um, one, two, three away from that guy. So I need an eight. I need a six to 12 to hit this dude. All right. There's also brawling in this, but you cannot brawl with an AI. There we go. Come on. Come on. Let's get this guy. A four. I miss on my first shot. That's awesome. Seven. Hit on the second shot. Okay. Oh, come on. What I need is a good roll here. Come on. Something to get this guy out of here. Uh, ten. That's going to be two hits. He's down to one hit. Oh, man. How I need. Now, this is where I need a break. All right, because I need to take this guy out and hopefully survive this dude. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, Johnny, you can do it. No, no. All right, he's one, two, three. He's within three. So if you're within three, he's going to shoot twice. He's going to shoot twice. Oh, boy. And... That's an 8 to 12 for him. Come on. Come on. Miss. 8 to 12. Misses the first one. 8 to 12. Misses the second one. Come on, Johnny Gringo. You can hang in there, bro. Come on. Yeah, we got shot in the arm, you know? All right. So next, next, next one here. All right. Here we go. 
Here we go. It's Johnny Gringo. Johnny might survive this. Johnny's got two shots. Hmm. How do I want to do this? All right, okay. Yeah, I'm shooting at him. I need a six. No, I miss. <laughs> and I got him. All right, hit him. And six. Oh, please, 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 please. Yes, we got rid of him. All right, that takes care of him. So he's gone. We've we've already we we've eliminated one. All right, one, two, three, four, five. He's five away. Let's go to our our chart here. Five away. He's going to move two, and shoot once. One, two. He's one, two, three away. We're shooting out in the saloon now. All right, here we go. He uh, he hits. He hits. Oh no! Come on, Johnny. You got to survive. Can Johnny survive? Seven. He's going to take one hit. All right. So what does this mean for for Johnny? Well, I'll tell you what it means for Johnny. Okay. Johnny, oh, well, these two go back into the thing. We take no we we take this guy out. This guy's dead. Johnny made a, a, a good showing for himself. What he needs to do is he needs to hit this dude and he needs to hit this dude fat. Oh, Johnny gets his first shot. All right. We're down to one. So there is a thing here. Last gas shot. One. Only a character can be uh, use his last uh, during his last health action. It's a minus two modifier. So we're rolling straight up. All right. We're rolling straight up. So we need, yeah, we need a good hit here. Uh, we're within three. Yep. All right. Here we go. Come on. Come on, Johnny. Don't die like everybody else. Uh, Johnny misses. All right. So that means he's going to go. And within that range. Okay. One, three. He's going to shoot twice. Oh, I forgot to shoot my uh, other shot. Oh. Yeah, it was a miss anyways. Okay. He's going to shoot twice. Misses. And misses. Woo! All right. Last gas shot. Come on. Oh, he's going to go. Can we survive? Uh, we get hit. Let's see what happens. Goodbye, Johnny. Goodbye, Johnny. Goodbye, Johnny. You fought well. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to keep, uh, well, four turns. Yep, four turns. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, so we, we, went, we would have had a re-roll on the last, uh, on our, our next, after our next one. That was only four turns. Johnny, I knew you well. Jeez. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, so that's the first scenario. It's it's a little tougher than than you think. It's actually a lot tougher than you think. You've got to you've got to get your shots in, and you've got to make sure that you hit. And if you get some some unlucky hits, well, that's 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 the wild west, my friends. But I want to show you a little bit more of this, okay? I want to show you a little bit more of this and how magical this game really is. Okay. There are a lot of different uh, variables here. Like I was saying, um, one of the things that I would do particularly is you have these cards. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing over again. Now there's all kinds of different boards that you can have and stuff like that. Um, let me move this out of the way. Let me move this out of the way. Let me move this out of the way. You have rifles. You have all kinds of different things. You got stagecoaches. Shooting through here is a minus one. These cards, when when you do the cards, receive plus two shot modifier on one shot. The card must be played before rolling the die for the shot. All right. 
There's all kinds of that. One pistol is automatically loaded. Discard this card after play. That's kind of it. So these cards add a lot of veritable. As you can see, they're poker cards because that's all they did was play poker back there. Sunday morning Western is correct, my my friend. You have such a a, 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 um, a variance of things that you can do. Um, you could be out in the wilderness, for instance, and you're going to be taking on possibly Indians. Okay. Now, you don't know whether they're Indians or not, okay, because some of them are blank. So they're a mystery. And the way that sometimes the town folk and stuff like work, like, I'm going to do this. Let's do this with some town folk instead of our guys here. Now, town folk only take two hits. Only we're going we're gonna to do the same scenario. And this, this is the fun that you can have with this, is that you can do, the, do whatever you want, okay? Um, there's all kinds of things that get in the way here. You got, you got tombstones, you got Indians that you can deal with, you, you know, anything, anything can get in your way. So we're going to take one of those. We're going to take one of those two. Um, let's see. I need, I actually need one more town folk, don't I? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. I need another active. Oh no, it, it activates all. Okay, so we're gonna make this a little tougher for uh, Johnny. So Johnny is going to do this, and here's the way I think I want to do this uh, scenario-wise. Okay, town folks are going to have rifles. Okay. And they're a little ticked off that I'm in town. All right. I'm over here having a, having a drink. I mean, I ain't bothering anybody, right? I'm not bothering a soul. Whoops, 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 whoops. All right. I'm trying to just mind my own business. That's what Johnny does, though. He minds his own business. And this guy's over at the roulette table. He's a bit of a pain in the neck there. So this is the way we're going to do this, okay? So these two would go in here. Let me get these guys out. Okay. Out, out, out. We got Johnny. We got this. And we're going to throw these in here. Okay. Well, let's get this out of here. Because after all. Ah, hey, you know what? We could do we could do this. We could do this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We're, we're, we're going to open up the town a little bit. All right, we're going to open up the town a little bit. And there we go. Right? Right? Let's open up the town a little bit. Make it a little tougher for Johnny. All right, you guys can see that, right? Okay, let me make sure. All right, we got this guy that's not too happy with Johnny. He's over in the bunkhouse. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's go. Let's 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 see how that that pans out for our boy. Now, town folk only have one hit. Okay. Um, uh, okay, here we go. Their normal health is one. Okay, so all we got to do is hit him. So let's see if Johnny can survive this, doing this old school. Now Johnny's having a drink, but he feels that, well, he's not really wanted here. Now, the, the original scenario called for, let me get all these boards out of the way. Called for, for three, uh, for six cards for us. All right. And nonetheless, this punk here is over here. So yeah, all right. Let's do that. Let's make let's make it a little tougher for us. All right, make it a little tougher. We're gonna add that guy in. All right, all right. There we go. We're gonna take that guy out. All right. I'm gonna keep track of him. So I gotta hit him four times. I may die. But we're going to go out with our boots on. That's the way we do things at Rob's Tabletop World, folks. Right, I'm going to move this over here a little bit. There we go. We're going to have some fun here this morning. All right. Let's see how this goes. They've got 12 turns to take me out. i got 12 turns to take them out. All right. I'm going to be unholstered, to be fair. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add these cards in. There was three for them. 
All right. One, two, three, four, five, six for me. One, two, three for them. I'm not going to look at these. Now, here's the way I'm going to do this. This is not in the rules. This is Rob's made up rules. Okay. All right. So we're going to have some fun with this. First of all, I want to tell you guys what a wonderful, fantastic job our friends at Worthington Publishing have done on this. Okay. This is just, this leave your, this is everything in the wild west that you could ever want to do. I'm just trust me on that. All right. So here's where it's going to go bad. All right. We're going to use our solo rules, but the way we're going to do it is on turn one, they are going to have to use their card. Play this when a character chit is activated. The character performs no actions when uh, when activated. So they just played that on me. Okay. Joker. Do double damage on your next shot. Must be played before the shot is rolled for. And is discarded if you miss. So that is a wasted card for me. How did I want to do this? No, wait. I don't want to do it that way. They, they get a card first, then I get a card, then they get a card, then I get a card, and then I get a card the rest of the turns. That's the way we, I said we do it. Okay. So I don't get a chance this turn. So I'm going to pull my activation shit out. So they are going to come in, and they are going to probably just going to wail up on me. So let's see who goes first. Well, of course, it's this guy here. Now, he is one, two, three away from me. He has a rifle. He's going to shoot twice. Shooting a rifle within three, he needs a seven or 12. Oh, boy. Come on, don't hit Johnny. Misses the first one. Oh. Misses the second. That's an automatic miss no matter what. Misses the second one. We got lucky there. All right, next. All right, these two guys are going to go. He's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten away from me. He has a rifle. He is away from me by 10. Oh, let's take a look here. I got to look here. 10. He's going to move four. One, two, three, four. Remember, they can't go any other way. He's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven away. Uh, he's going to move four. One, two, three, four. Uh oh. They are, and which means, yeah, you got it. Our friend is next. He is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight away with a pistol. Oh, I was wrong. Rifle, move two and shoot. Oops, oops, oops. And they're that far away. One, two. And one, two. I was looking at pistol. He's going to move four. One, two, three, four. Uh oh. All right. Yeah, business is about to pick up. So that's their turn. So we're going to go to the second turn. So now I turn my card over. And it's do double damage on your next shot. Must be played before the shot is rolled. So this is going to last my whole turn. Not a problem. We're going to put these guys in here. I missed my whole turn that turn. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I can't put him in there. Okay, those are in there. All right. So here we go. Oh, business is going to pick up now. Big business is going to pick up now. Oh, Johnny Ringo gets to go first. All right. He's got his his two pistols holstered. He's going to go one, two. And then with his second shot, one, two, three, four. It's going to be four away at plus two. Uh, four away at plus two. Um, that, I'm going to need a six or 12. So come on, come on, come on, come on. Got him. That's my first shot. Do double damage on your next shot. Must be played before. So this shot is double damage on him. So now we're going to use our veritable chart. We've got to roll. Come on, roll high. Come on, roll high. Roll high. Six. That's uh, going to be two hits. But that's good enough. One, two. All right. My next shot. Come on, come on, come on. Five. I miss. Oh, how unfortunate for me. How unfortunate for Johnny Ringo. Okay, next person's going to go. 
Oh, it's going to be these guys. They're going to activate. He's one, two, three, four, five away from me. So five away with a rifle. Move two and shoot. One, two. And he's going to go one, two, three. Uh, range three with a rifle. He needs a seven. Seven or better. Uh, eight. He hits. Uh-oh. Come on, Johnny. You can survive this. Um, let's roll the second hit. Misses on the second hit. Okay. So now let's see how he gets hit. On the hit, that's a six. He's going to take one damage. Not cool for Johnny. This guy here, well, he knows where we are. So it's move two. Oh, no, he shoots twice, but he can't shoot. Oh, no, no, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's seven away. He's going to move two and shoot. One, two. No, nope, can't shoot me. All right, next. Um, we pull out our chit. Okay, this ain't good. He's one, two, three, four, five. Five away. He's going to move two and shoot. So he's going to move up one, two. It's going to be minus one to shoot out the door. Um, that's four away with a rifle. He needs a seven. Well, he needs an eight now. Eight. No, he misses. All right. And that means our wounded guy here is going to go. So now uh, he is one, two, three, four away. So if you're four away with a pistol, he's going to shoot twice. And on a pistol, four away, he needs an eight or better. Misses on the first shot. Come on, Johnny, hang in there. Misses on the second shot. Woo! All right. Just bought Adventure Tactics yesterday, my FLG. Now you're coming with another game to get. What am I supposed to do? All right, so that is everybody. Oh, that was not good. They are going to get a card this turn. Remember, this is turn three now. All right. Uh, raise one character's health by one. May not be played to resurrect a dead character. So their character, I already shot him. He's going to be raised up to one. Look at that. You see how this plays out? John, yeah, Johnny, Johnny's about dead, man. <laughs> Johnny's going to die. But that's because I made it hard. But you see how these cards do a lot of things and, and, and can add to this role-playing experience because there's a whole role-playing experience. Uh-oh. He's going to go. He's That means he shoots twice. Needs an eight or better. He's got an eight. He's got an eight. Second shot. He misses. Oh, come on. Rollo, Rollo, 10. Oh, two hits to Johnny. Johnny's down to one hit. Johnny gets hit again. It's over. It's over for our boy Johnny. But Johnny's going to go. He's going to go out with his boots on. Johnny's got two shots. Come on, Johnny. Uh, we need, yeah, we need six. Oh, 11. That's definitely a hit. Another hit. Seven. That's definitely a hit. Yes, because the plus two. Now, let's see what kind of damage we do. Come on, we got to take this guy out. Uh, eight. That's going to be one hit. Come on. A ten. A ten. That's all we need is a ten. No, we miss. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's just some bad luck right there. All right, Johnny. I think it's all. Yeah, all these guys get to go. Uh, this guy is one, two, three, four away. And on four away, on a rifle, he's going to shoot two shots, but he's too far away. One, two, three, four, five. Five, sorry. Move two. He's going to move one, two. He's going to try to shoot. Uh, this guy is only one, two, three away with a rifle. He's going to shoot twice. Uh oh, this could be it for Johnny. This could be it for John. Uh, on a rifle, uh, one, two, three away. He needs a seven, and he gets it. Oh, we need we need a two or four to survive. 
Goodbye, Johnny. Johnny, you are not meant for the wild, wild west. That's for sure. That's all I can say about that. All right, so I think you have a good idea what goes on here. This is a tremendously fun game. The cards twist things up, okay? Because we would we would we would have that one guy rolling. You got you've got to use the the environment around you, and you got to pray that you get your initiative correct. Because if you don't, bye bye. Now this was a special situation. Normally, like let's take a look at some of the. The other things in here. Now, you could get this at Miniature Market. They have 20 of these left. And you get so much with it. There's a lot of game inside this. And the quality is through the roof. So, I really highly suggest it. Okay. Let's see. Uh, you got a good game here. Yeah, this is a good, really good game. I really like this. So, um, let, me, let me show you real quick. Top down. Boom. All right, so that was the first episode, and it's tough, okay? The second one, shootout at the OK Corral. Four cards, four cowboys on one side. Set up first three cards, five cowboys. Set them up anywhere inside the area of the corral, all right? So you're going to have, like, Doc Holliday. You're going to have Wyatt Earp, Virgil Earp, and Morgan. And then you've got, you got everybody on the other, the McClary's and stuff like that. Then the third one, you're going to add more, more uh, tiles. And it's going to be one cowboy, a sheriff, with a rifle, holstering two. You could switch weapons, too, depending on where you are. But it's going to cost you. And he's going to have six cards. And on the other side, on, on the other side, you're going to have four cowboys that you're going to have to take out. Okay? Uh, how to win. Uh, side one wins by having the sheriff alive at the end of turn 20. Side two wins by eliminating the sheriff by the end of turn 20. So there's a lot of little things that go in here. And uh, just really, really could. Uh, AI port is side two with weapons drawn. No cards for either side. Dang, that's just nasty. Two cowboys start anywhere along K. Two cowboys... Start anywhere along row two of board C. Okay. And you are starting. I'm just trying to. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. Okay. So you can move around and do a whole bunch of things. Then it's two cowboys versus six cowboys. You know, there's a lot of different ways to do this. But you got to make sure that you use your ratings correctly. So there you go. I got to check one thing because I might have been cheating myself. Especially when Cowboys play in the solo variant. Do they start at full health? Okay. Uh, distance then changes to game. AI pieces pieces do not track ammo. They are always looking for AI pieces. Health are available. And available actions do not affect its movement. The only thing that affects... Movement and shooting determined by the solo chart. At times, okay. Uh, wh what about their health? Are they supposed to be at full health? Yes, they are. Okay, I did it right. Okay, we're good. We're good. If you find it too easy, um, add an extra activation check. Oh, if you find it too hard, Add cards allow allowed in the episode back for the human player. Okay, so if, if I found this too hard, I can take the cards away from them and I can use the cards myself, which means I would be able to look at all six cards and know when to play it. So if I wanted to add, see, I could, I could receive two extra points here. I can get a reaction shot. That's the other thing. If you have full points, you can take a reaction shot. That's something I didn't show you guys. So... At the beginning of the turn, and I had my movement, and this guy uh, got to go, I pulled his chit. I could have said, okay, I'm going to use all my actions right now, and I'm going to take an action. I'm going to take a reaction shot at him. And then I would take my reaction shot, hopefully hit him, and get him out of the way before he got to go. So there were ways that I could have saved myself a little bit better. But I did, did not. 
Can you play as the drifter in this one? You sure can, Glowing Turtle. You sure can. Why not play as the drifter, right? So the neat thing about this is the options are limitless. And you get so much. I mean, I showed you two tiles. I'm going to take out. You get one, two, three, four. Oh, oh, let's, let's go up top here. Because I want to make sure that we represent this game properly. Because you know, the guys at Worthington are fantastic. Um, look, you, you, what I really like is you got buildings on one side. you got a creek here. Um, you got buildings on this side. Uh, you got the corral. Remember the okay corral. We're going to be fighting next. And then, you know, there's more wilderness. So you're getting one, two, three, four, five, six, six boards. You can make this thing uh, pretty much. They're one foot boards. So a three by three area where you can have, you can do anything that you really want to with it. I mean, come on, you know, probably. And when you kill something or someone, you they drop the weapon so if i was able to kill him he would die but we would drop the weapon and you can go over and pick it up and add it to your inventory there's a lot like i said that you can do with this this is a fantastic wonderful experience i highly suggest it highly highly suggest it this is a wonderful game from a wonderful company uh the quality is through the roof highly suggested the cards do a lot and make this game just really pop you can um you can level up and you can role play it as well so um there, there's definitely some things that you can do um i really like it i like it a lot so there you have it all right i hope you enjoyed our sunday morning little brunch here we had a big week that's why i wanted to get this out of the way actually not get it out of the way, but we got a lot of things that we are going to be covering this week. Uh, I've got some things that you're going to see that you never saw before that we're going to do with Space Hulk. Uh, we're going to take some of the mission books. I came up with, uh, I was going through it and I came up with an idea. So we're going to be playing that out probably on Tuesday. Uh, I will be on live uh, on Whiskey Charlie on Mo, Mo's Gaming Table. It's a hostile takeover. Nobody's supposed to know about it. But uh, if you guys show up, I would really appreciate your support. Um, we're going to have some fun there. Uh, they don't know what's coming. And I've got all kinds of things planned for them. So, as always, I hope you enjoyed it. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Uh, and go over to the Miniature Market. Go get this game while you can. It's really, really worth it. They've only got, I think, like 20 in stock. And after that, psh, game over. You're not going to be able to get them anymore. Until next time, it is your old pal Rob saying, we will see you soon. Enjoy your Sunday. You never know. I might be back later. I'm, you know, I'm never done streaming, am I? Take it easy, everybody.